Yes, I am Ada from Hong Kong, um, a final year student from my home university and get uh, exchange offers to Poland to, uh, to send her uh, to study uh, for one semester. Yes, um, I love to um, travel, so it is a very um, precious chance for me to uh, put my first step in Europe. The most things that surprised me is um, people um, here uh, want very uh, walk very fast, just like Hong Kong. Um, uh, Hong Kongs can be regarded as the as people uh, walk the fastest, um, the pace I mean in in the world. But in Poland, it is just similar. So these things um, this most surprised me. Hong Kong people um, may think that. Um, uh, Poland is a very sad country, as um, there there was um, many people died, and, <clears throat> and Poland experienced uh, many wars in the past. So they uh, think that um, the political is not the political conditions is not stable. Um, it is dangerous in Poland. I like Poland, um, especially for the. Um, People, the Polish people here. Um, I remember uh, they are very. They swear the smiles um, every time. Um, every time I uh, met them, uh, especially um, they are they are very eager to help. I remember um, one time I'm um, just um, buying the train tickets in the in the uh, stations um, as the staff of the. Uh, train stations um, doesn't um, doesn't know how to uh, speak English. I just um, look back to the queue, and many people just oh um, and see what happened, and and just a uh, man just like wanting to help me. Yeah, I, I yeah, it is. Uh, I love Polish people; is they are very helpful. And other things that I like Poland's um, uh, is the price level. It's just just similar to Hong Kong. Um, um, the uh, one thing I worry that uh, it is very expensive in the European countries, but um, it is not the case. I can buy whatever I want. I, I can find uh, whatever I, I want in here. Um, for the parties in Poland, um, I've heard that um, everyone needs to join every parties. But um, for me, um, I seldom go to the parties, but um, I I have some, I have a few chances to um, go to parties with my friends. This is really, really um, funny. Yes, as um, all the people are very happy, they will um, hand in hand and dancing and singing. Even for the parties in Hong Kong, there is um, so called ladies' nights in Hong Kong is very popular. Um, those ladies um, just enter the, the pub um, free of charge, and they will um, they will find some guys for. Uh, for drink, for paying the drink. Uh, in Hong Kong, uh, people will not um, join together to dance and talk. They just uh, maybe stand separately, uh, pairs, without um, joining a group of friends to, um, to play and sing. Yes. I love uh, Polish cuisines very much. Yes, as there uh, are very um, many vegetables as the size dishes. And the, the cold salads, the um, sour cabbage, I like to eat um, all the um, side dishes rather than the main course, as I love to eat vegetables. And although it is not um, very um, tasty, I, I would like to try all of them. In Hong Kong, um, people like to eat rice very much. They must have rice for uh, for meal and many served and many dishes like um, pork uh, with vegetables and unlike Poland, there is just a um, main course with uh, with salads. Before I come here, many people just told me that oh, Polish expert, uh, Polish guy is very handsome. Yes, um, actually, the the Polish uh, the guy in European countries um, are handsome, but especially in Poland. So I, I find that um, it is it is it is true. <laughs> I, all can I say is um, every every um, Polish guy just uh, as I say they they are very friendly, they are very gentlemen. Um, they uh, in Hong Kong um, the Hong Kong guy um, won't help the girls to open the door or do anything. But in Poland, it is 
totally different case. For the culture difference um, between Poland and Hong Kong, um, I will I will say that um, it is the the time for uh, for having meal in Hong Kong. Um, people will um, will have the breakfast, lunch, uh, tea, um, dinners uh, very regular. I mean, they just uh, they will wake up, they will have breakfast. Um, uh, in maybe at twelve or one o'clock, they will have lunch and so on. But in Poland, I found that they seldom have lunch and at 12 or 1 o'clock, but 3 or 4 o'clock. I don't know what's, what's the meal called, as it is between the lunch and dinner. I, I, I heard that um, there is first breakfast and second breakfast in Poland, but I don't know if it's really the case that um, they, they separate the, the meal in just a few hours. That means they, they have, they have a, a, a meal at 4 o'clock, but dinner at maybe 7 o'clock, just three, 3 hours. So another difference is that um, I remember that one time I have a chance to um, um, have a meal in a traditional Polish home with uh, some um, Polish food. Um, the grandma treated us very well. Um, they, uh, she, she, asked us about, she asked us to sing a song uh, about uh, in our language. Actually, I've I feel very strange that, oh, why I need to sing a song with our language, but um, how can you get the meaning about my, the, the content of the songs? Polish people think that uh, music is, um, is very important as they, as, um, they can make use of um, the melodies to learn through the uh, cultures of a specific country. Um, um, for in Hong Kong, um, people don't take it very serious. I mean, the uh, music, they just uh, listen to the music for leisure, but not, but without any special meanings. For the Polish language, I think it is the most difficult language in the world. Yes, as I have um, a tandem course, that means a language course um, organized by um, at school. Um, there's a partner uh, from Poland, from Polish, it, uh, he's a Polish and taught me um, Polish and I taught him uh, Mandarin but um, after a few classes I found it is really difficult for me to pronounce the, 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 the I, I don't know what to, how to pronounce but it is interesting but I, I will try my best to learn. Prozdarvia in and out of River Aule, Polski. Thank you for watching River Aule, Polski. Bye bye.